someone must have got up out of the wrong side of the bed. They've been in a state all day. Oh, Mr. Brandon says he's always in a state when he gives a party. It's the first time I've seen it. Usually, he lets me prepare everything in my own way, but look at this. Chicken's hardly been touched. Well, what was so different today? Well, what wasn't? Mr. Brandon was in the maddest rush for me to clean up and get the table set. And, oh, it looks so lovely. But then when I was whisking out to do the shopping, he suddenly told me to take the whole afternoon for it. The whole afternoon. After that mad rush in the morning. Did he say why? No, uh, just a whim, I suppose. But when I came back, he and Mr. Philip were going at it, hammer and tongs. Oh. What about? Well, now, Mr. Cadell, even if I did know, do you think I'd tell? Well, I hope so. Not me. Really? I'm like the grave. Look at this, Nils. Just makes double the work. After I have this cleaned off, I just have to clear all those books off the dining room table, bring them in here, and put them back in the chest, which is where they were in the first place. Why did you serve from here, anyway? <laughs> it wasn't my idea. I had everything laid out in the dining room, and it was just beautiful. Is she still harping on her table and how awkward it is to serve from this? But it's really much more convenient, you know. Because this way, people don't have to go all the way into the dining room to get their food and come all the way back here to eat. Hmm. Seems to me they've gone all the way in there now for their dessert and coffee. Mrs. Wilson, please serve the guests. Don't lecture them. 